Doing good, doing good. I've gotten... Everything's uploaded on YouTube uh, from the past couple of days, just processing. And then uh, after this, I'll... Should be able to get everything posted from... Uh... Am I rocking a Turbo Graphics? Uh, not exactly, but uh, the uh, Virtual Console version of this. Uh, do not have that Turbo Graphics mini just yet. <laughs> Nor do I have an original Turbo Graphics. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've actually been uh, playing this game the past two weeks. Yeah, yeah, because two weeks ago uh, I streamed my Wii console, my Wii Virtual Console Roulette, Wii Shop Roulette, Dawn of the Final Day. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and then last week I streamed with Damiani and then I streamed again Friday before Kyle's stream. Um, if you were here um, before all of that, or for Friday in particular, you might be wondering like, hey, Bloodworth didn't have that much health. Bloodworth didn't have a medicine in his stock. Um, no, I didn't. Uh, I botched I botched what I did, uh, I botched turning the system off, basically. So when you do Virtual Console, if you hit the home button like this, right, and then you hit the Wii menu, then it creates a save state uh, for where you left off. I didn't do that. I just powered the system off. And, so, and then I immediately, immediately knew what I did. Um, so I, load, I loaded it back up and I got back to where we, we left off, like right after the stream. <laughs> I had, you know, I had done real save files in between, so it wasn't that bad, but um, just that last run off the tower, I had to repeat. Let's get some music back. Uh, Cheeseboy Boy One Hot, thank you for resubscribing. So, basically, we're in the same position, but with better health from where we left off. So I'll get my, uh, sip of coffee and let's get back to it. We're on the bridge. Level... It doesn't say on the map, does it? I believe we're on level four of five. Now we've got to search out this next part of the map, get up to the next level, fight the boss. Not sure if there's anything else in this stage to look for, but we'll search it out. And we don't want to have that accidentally fired off, so let's go this guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I did see that hilarious... Um, Somebody was speedrunning the game like right after I played it, and when we hosted the, that speedrun stream, I'm like, oh, look, there's Newtopia 2. And I didn't watch the whole thing because I didn't want to get spoiled, but I saw a fair amount of it. I didn't watch it consistently enough though to know like how the heck they were getting through it so fast, but a lot of this game, um, I do think, can be sped up just through memorization just by not having to push every block, bomb every wall. You know which ones you need. And what's behind door number two or door number three, then you sh should be good. But like, you know, the likelihood of like, say, this being bombable is pretty slow, pretty low, but still kind of want to check, right? All right, this is, aha, that's, that's the right one. Mm -mm. <laughs> Is anyone going to be reviewing Mystery Dungeon DX? Yeah, um, I can't, you know, like, I never want to guarantee a review, particularly when we get something like, like that. Um, but we have uh, Brad slated to do it right now. Um, but unfortunately, like Nintendo confirmed, I mean, at this point it's obvious, but Nintendo confirmed we won't be getting an early copy. Uh, so, that won't even be starting until Friday. Also confirmed no early copy on Animal Crossing either. If you are asking about that, 
You don't have to. Some follow though they ended up being right. What? I'm not sure what that means. I'm missing some context on that question. Oh, because Nintendo follows me. Sure. Oh no! Oh no. No, no. There's no way to undo that. How did I even have that selected? I thought I had bombs selected. When did I... Okay. Okay. Sure. There's nothing I can do. Like, I've just got to go back through the stupid thing. I should at least go buy more bombs and medicine. Good grief. It was down there. I don't, yeah, I, I clicked something wrong. Oh boy. I specifically went out of my way to make sure we wouldn't have to repeat that dungeon again. And I botched it. Well, we got our wings back, at least. Until she's found it. He's seen it. He's showing you exactly what I did. Siri, I'm not talking to you. I don't even know. You get to hear all the music again. Serious is preparing for the revolution, yeah. Those robots are gonna get us. Dude, did you guys uh, see my tweets about the nonsense YouTube stuff I had to deal with the past week? Like, they quarantined thousands of comments from like two months for no good reason. And I don't, I don't understand. And they're all comments for the most, most that I had already read, of course, so I just had to like go through and like s scroll down for it to like load a hundred comments or so at a time and then uh, just, you know, approve them all, approve them all, approve them all. And then once they got back into my normal feed, then I was able to sort out the bad ones. But man, what the heck? had 30 plus quarantine yeah see 30 I could have dealt with no no problem I think in the end there were probably something like 2400 comments And the thing is, is like, I could sort of understand, like, you know, like somebody will like drop an F-bomb or something, right? And it, and it won't really be like directed at anything offensively. And so I understand like when an algorithm picks that up, but like these were like, they were literally nothing. Like they were literally just people coming and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to play that game. And like, oh, good job, Damiani, or stuff like that. So it's just completely, completely pointless waste of time.
Is this game Zelda type or an RPG? Yes, on both counts. <laughs> um, it's more Zelda. More Zelda than RPG. It's very, very much Zelda. Uh, very much Zelda 1. Um, it's like if you took Zelda 1 and like... Dragon Quest. And kind of put those together a little bit. I don't even know about that. You just tell the one and you give it more NPCs and more gear. More proper towns. Love Nootopia 1. Yeah, I mean, I might have to, uh, yeah, well, actually, I know. I for sure will check out Utopia One uh, when we get the Turbo Graphics Mini. Um, but yeah, I, I just pulled a random selection of games, so I had not really put any time into either Utopia game before this, and Utopia Two was the one that came up in my random list. So there's a lot of references to Utopia One and Two, so it will be kind of interesting to go back and play the first one. Uh, I probably won't play it all the way through because there's like 50 games on that many, but yeah, it'll be fun to check out. Have I ever played East? No, I have never played any of the East games. Um, yeah, and I know those are on the mini as well, so that'll be interesting. East 1 and 2 play a lot like this, but with more overt anime influences. Oh, okay. I didn't realize they were... Uh real time like this. That's cool. For some reason I just assumed that they were very turn based or menu based or strategy based or something along those lines rather than an action RPG or adventure game. He seems like a Ben series for sure. Yeah I think Ben's definitely dabbled in ease here and there. Action 2D based RPG game. Cool. So now the struggle is going to be I'm going to have to remember my route back through all this. But I mean, I've done this like three or four times, so I probably will be okay. is the worst dungeon to have to repeat due to an accidental bu button press. Alright, full on bombs. Let me see what the uh, what's going on here. Okay, we're uh, trying to get some logistics sorted out for next week's stream team. It's always a little tricky when the vote goes to something that's like, oh, does anyone have this? And like. I don't know. Like, okay, now can we can we get it before stream team? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Era Brazil, thank you. Did I see the new ESA statement? Yeah, it's not really new information, um, but I think it's reassuring to know that, you know, they are, you know, watching. Um, they will update everybody if a decision needs to be made. So, but yeah, I expect anybody that has any kind of event right now to be watching the news like a hawk. So, discard gift and subs. Thank you. Do I think Newtopia does certain things better than Zelda? I mean, again, we're comparing this to Zelda 1 for the most part. Um, so, I, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say... Compare it on that level because it's a game that obviously came later, obviously had lessons to learn. I definitely feel like it, it does rely a bit too much on, like, the bomb walls, right? Of oh, these jerks. This is, this is what I learned from the speedrunner, at least. I used to flail on these stupid clouds. Got no E3 at about 70% chance right now. Yeah, I mean, it does feel like everything going 100% according to plan uh, is not that likely. <laughs> it feels like E3 is probably going to be happening um, when a lot of this stuff is at its peak. But. Yeah, we just have to watch, I guess. But yeah, I think if if they did cancel the show itself, we would get a very digital E3. And I do wonder that I think that's one thing I wonder is like how much work are they putting into right now to ensure something like that happens, to ensure that like E3 isn't just forgotten but has a presence, anyways. Ah, crap, you jerk. Do you think they'd host it in another city? I don't think that that's, that's even close to an option um, for this year. And it, would, it, it wouldn't solve anything, right? Like, you wouldn't know which city is going to be the best choice two months from now. It just, it's just not something you could predict. Jeff knew. No, I don't think so. That was very separate. Playing Link's Awakening, it chugs, huh? Yeah, it really does. I was hoping that was something they'd be able to fix, but it still seems to be a problem. Okay, this is the wrong way. Do anything to expand on what the original Zelda set out to do. Um. In minor ways, um, 
obviously the original Zelda did not have much of anything when it comes to a story, right? Here we go. Um, there's more going on in terms of equipment, but that's still handled very much like Zelda, where you don't really, you don't have an option. Once you get a new item, then like, uh, your equipment just updates. Um, the compass is kind of a non issue. I mean, I guess it helps you a little bit, but it's just a different form. The crystal is just a different form of a map. The boss key is interesting because I don't think the original Zelda didn't really do boss keys. Uh, that, but that did come in later Zelda, so I'm curious how much of that yeah that, the way that overlaps is interesting because it feels like these did come out either before or very close to Link to the Past and I don't feel like this game really borrows much of anything from Zelda 2 although Zelda 2 also had uh, more robust sounds Ah, crap. Medicine time. Yeah, the narrative drive is the bigger thing. Yeah, and in some ways, you know, like this game, you know, it's also like far more linear than the original Zelda. It's a lot of times when you're just, you know, you can't get to a new area because the story hasn't let you get there or an item you need, you haven't gotten yet. Um, which is true in part for some Zelda games, but a lot of them really do let you explore a lot of the world more openly. Alright, these jerks. You wind up just playing through the Turbo Graphics Mini on there. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to cover it. Um, I don't know how much of that coverage would come in the form of a stream, um, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be putting some time into it, doing some coverage. So look forward to that. Anonymous Gifter, thank you. Okay, this one. Got it. This troll. Got it.
Which ending did I finish Sekiro with? Ooh, that's a... Hmm. Do I answer that? Um... I guess I... For... Yeah, I guess the spoiler freeway I'll just say is the, the restoration ending. We'll go with that. I got the fruit. Oh, all right, forgot about that. Is, is gonna be in that Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movie. Which I'm not sure I understand. It sounds like it's gonna be a reboot rather than a sequel. The only Hollywood comeback that matters. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Also, I don't blame anyone that's just like, hey, you know what? I made millions of dollars. I've got a good investment strategy. I don't want to be in the public eye anymore, and I just want to spend time with my family. Like, sounds like a plan to me. guys too. Alright. Render 86, thank you. If I've never once hit the credits on Shadow of the Colossus, should I give it a playthrough? I mean, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Alright, I should have went south then, I believe. I think I can get over that way too. That spinning weapon uses gold. So that's what you have to watch out for. Um, which, it's not too bad because you can definitely grind. Get a little bit of gold here, pretty quickly. But yeah, otherwise, you just, well, yeah, why wouldn't you just use it constantly?
My favorite 2D Zelda? It's like really hard for me to pick favorites, you guys know this. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's either. It's easily either. Link's Awakening or Link to the Past, but. Picking between the two. I don't know, man. Alright, here we go. Oh. Alright, tricks. So I'm trying to remember if I, like, find another medicine in here somewhere? Not sure how I managed to get through the last time with an extra medicine at this point, but oh well. Oracles are up there too. Yeah, I really I enjoyed the Oracle games when I played them um, back in the day, um, but I I definitely have never replayed those games. So it'd be interesting to go back and do that sometime. I'm hoping that there's another, like, extra medicine I haven't picked up around here somewhere. But I gotta explore this floor a little bit more thoroughly. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to be real careful on the next one. There we go. Not here. Just these jerks. Confused about the Turbo Mini will only include North American Turbo Graphics games. It will also include all the PC Engine games. So if you go to the website, um, you can see all the games that are included. Uh, it's 57 total, um, but it's a mix of there's a selection of North American games and a selection of Japanese games. Um, some of those are duplicates. So like you get Bonk's Adventure and PC Genjin, which are you know for all intents and purposes the exact same game. I think Newtopia are duplicated as well, so I think it's one of those things they did to just make the product easier. The main thing that's different is just the shell. Like every every region gets its own uh, shell that you know looks like the the console they actually got back in the day, which is pretty cool. Barry Bumfroid, thank you for subscribing. Any thoughts on the Silent Hill tees from Kojima? I, that, that I have not seen. Silent Hill tees? Why Kojima? Give me arrows, game.
I still need another thing to push to get the doors to open. Okay. So unless there's a medicine here, which there's not, let's go, let's move on. DuckTales Remastered is back on digital stores now, nice. bombs now. So we're just gonna go hog wild on these walls. Because we know Newtopia likes its bomb walls. Did you see Castlevania Symphony of Night is on mobile now and there's still no switch port? I did see the mobile before, but that's really funny. <laughs> Yeah, where's the Switch version? These guys drop anything? There we go, there's a heart. We gotta push from the other other side. Am I reviewing or the Will of the Wisps? No, uh, Damiani will review that. Just these, okay. Thank you. Needed that. Castlevania Judgment Remastered. Come on. I think there would be a bomb wall here, but let's look. This one, though. Come on. Yep. Ooh, it's the boss. Very nice. Boss time! Ooh, Medusa. The Emperor of Darkness, Dearth, lives. Our time has come. Ha ha ha! Whoa. Oh no, she makes more snakes. Yeah, I mean, this is a freebie. She's not moved. Got plenty of bombs. Oh, look at those teeth. She's getting mad. Okay, now we go. Here we go.
Oh, we need that medicine. No one can defeat Dirth, the Emperor of Darkness. Ha 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 ha! Oh, her face basically turns into a snake, huh? Oh, that's that's cool. It looks a lot like uh, King Hiss. I don't know if you ever had that He-Man toy. If you ever saw that He-Man toy. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Blood has defeated Medusa. Blood gains life force. Fun fact, Blood or E2 has the Metro 2 fan remake guy on it doing map work. Yeah, I uh, I caught wind of that when the uh, previews went out. That's pretty cool. What's in the box? The Bell of Heaven. So do we just use it here? Get the sun flame. Nice, so we can take that back to the blacksmith. I am amazed. All that island was is a treasure chest I thought it was gonna be like Twilight Princess where there's like this whole thing up there this is like a whole dungeon and it's just a tiny island with one treasure chest Wow where does the name Bloodworth originate uh Londonish I believe We gotta save. All right, time to wake the giant. Plays the flute. You been practicing, dude? Nice. That dearth. It is his fault that I have been asleep in this ice. Take this yellow medallion. It will help in penetrating dearth's evil barrier. Blood gets the yellow medallion. What happens when we leave and come back? Oh, that's it. <laughs> he just stands there. Alright. Let's go upgrade our sword. I'm trying to remember if that was the igloos or the other town, but we'll check the igloos first. Just in case. Oh, hey. Thanks to you, my granddaughter has returned. Thank you. And she does not speak. Thanks to you, the ice giant has awoken. We'll protect us once again. Siri is just going crazy today. The Ice Giant has awoken from a long sleep. He will always protect Igloo Town. Bomb guy. 
Please buy bombs, mister. Four for 250. No, thanks. Medicine guy. I'll go to the other place, get cheaper medicine. Okay, and then the end. Okay, so we gotta go back. Which makes sense. I have to go through there anyway. Yes. Hmm. I see you have procured the sun flame. Now see my real skill. The lack of sound effects on things sometimes, man. Alright. What gets the sun sword? Ooh. It's glowy. Alright, now let's see what he says. Also, this guy's got Luigi outfit on. Take that sun sword and defeat Dirth, the Emperor of Darkness. It's very much like an old Luigi standing in here. this village before I go back to the other one that's got the cheap stuff. Yeah. Going to the volcano next. Got it. Something must be living inside it. If you're serious about writing a book and don't know what to write, I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I don't have any serious inclination at this moment. I just, yeah, something that could happen someday. I had a, if I had a motivation to do it. Stock up. How many do I have? Six? Oh yeah, we'll stock up. This medicine or else. Nice. Okay, got it. We know. Yeah, this tunnel music is great. Good 
Time for a good save. Go west and north, you'll find the stairs to the Lost Woods. Uh oh. Lost Woods nod. So the great Nanyo would have a way into the volcano, but he is missing. It's hard to believe, but even Nanyo is afraid of the evil dearth. Does missing mean he's just inside this other room? Let's find out. Oh my, you look hurt. Please relax a bit. Oh, okay. So that's a healer. Haha. <laughs> Alright, you got me. Across there. Favorite, I'm not gonna be able to tell you favorite books slash authors other than Lord of the Rings. Comment Gan, thank you. Yeah, I uh, as, as many books as I devoured growing up, I've been really bad about reading. Put that together with being really bad about picking favorites of anything? Not a good combo. Don't enter the Lost Woods in the north unless you have plenty of life energy. Got it. Great monk lives to the east of here. He has a great collection of items. It sounds very interesting. Here we go. Yeah, haha! I'm glad you made it. I'm an expert on power. To help you in the sixth labyrinth, you can now hold four more bombs. And by the way. If you meet any of my friends during your travel, say hi. Good night, Hogue. Did I listen to any of the new orchestrations in Final Fantasy VII Remake? Uh, just what was in the demo. Uh, but yeah, they're really good. Way better graphics than the original Zelda. It's, it's on a 16-bit system. Of course, yeah. That was it, that was the Turbo Graphics had going for being the, the earliest of the 16-bit systems. Alright, let's figure this out. Oh. Dirt has returned! If he captures the scientist Nanyo, all will be lost. Nanyo's a scientist, okay. New intel?
Oh wow, there's like a whole section to go down here. And then there's the ice section over here. I'm trying to ice first. True story, I traded my TurboGrafx-16 for a Sega Genesis right before Bonk's Adventure came out and I was filled with remorse. Hmm. I mean, the, I think the Genesis is probably still the better long-term pick. But yeah, just bad timing. Because if you did that before Bonk, it's still a while before Sonic came out, right? Or am I misremembering that timeline? That's just a cliff. I can't actually go down there. That's just the area I was already in before. Okay. Actually, these are like, they're beetles, aren't they? Is there little stag horns on the top? That's cool. Go east, then south to the town of Basara. A great scientist lives there. Streets of Rage have a release date yet. I don't think so. What are these dudes? Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Don't need it. These guys are freaky, huh? Fear of dearth, I came to these lost woods, but it is scary here too. Okay, so this is the lost woods. I was thinking it's the area by the ice. These guys don't really drop anything. I've often seen someone moving about in the five trees to the west. It scares me. Five trees to the west, okay. Some enter the lost woods and never come out again. Sorry, I can help no more. Oh, okay. We found all the upgrades. Okay, got it. Oh, friend code is up for patrons? Sweet.
Oh, we found a town. Do you want to try the other stuff first? Let's try to see what's over here first. Compass bugging. The compass just does that. If there's not anything, any item for it to lock onto, it only really works in dungeons, anyways. Will I be playing Baldur's Gate 3? Uh, you know, I'm interested in playing Baldur's Gate 3. Whether I actually will get around to playing it, uh, it's hard to say. But it sounds great. And I bet it. Ooh, what? This, is this the guy? I am the scientist, Nanyo. Durf tried to capture me. So I have been hiding here. What? The mountain erupted? Doubtless this was done by Durth's horrible beasts. Yes. Take this magic hand. With it you will be able to enter the mount Enter the mouth of the volcano and defeat the beast causing the eruption. Blood gets the magic hand. The magic hand. Okay. What a, what a character. Oh, I'm gonna have to use that medicine. So weird though, right? To like, there's not really anything here. Oh well. So this path, this whole path right down the center, is just a troll. Because you can't, you can't get through these trees. See what's up here. Town of Asara. The famous Dr. Nano used to live here. He has gone into hiding so that Durst couldn't use his inventions for evil. Some say he's gone into the Lost Woods, but I don't know for sure. I remember the time when Pissara and the Oasis were connected by a path. Yeah, that's hints for something else. Boomerangs. Probably charge an arm and a leg for him here. The lava from the volcano is spreading. The road to the mountaintop is ruined. I'm sure Dr. Nanyo would have a way to clear the mountain road. I did go into this one too, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. How much you want for it? Five hundred. We'll go. So we'll go somewhere else. Oh, this is interesting. We're just hurting the flame with flames, guys. It's pretty good. So, this is gonna be like... Oh yeah, we can't even go this way. This is a cool new song, though. As far as I know, there's not a third one of these games.
Give me a quick sec to check my email while we listen to this. Huh. Alright. Um, I got the Luigi's Mansion 3 multiplayer pack that I, I don't think we'll actually do anything with. <laughs> Volcano time. guys would turn into. Little blobs. Oh, I gotta go back around. Okay. Wait, did I get myself lost? Did I get lost in the Lost Woods? Here we go, here we go. territory we're just kind of up on the cliffs could do a giveaway with it no I cannot that's not how that works it is not a giveaway code oh there's a volcano nice going to do it just yet. Just checking out all the spots. This composer went on to work on the Mario Party series. Interesting. Oh, cool. Okay. Got to bed a little closer. The volcano has not stopped. The lava will soon reach these lands, too. Actually, let's go around and make sure we check this other house first. to this house suddenly erupted. Dirt has a beast living there. That's interesting because I think that's the guy who originally was like, hey, don't go, you know, don't come here. Get out of here if you don't have that sun sword. Did I play Utopia or jump right into it? Just jumped into two. Um, yeah, a couple weeks ago we just kind of did like a roulette randomizer for virtual console games uh, and Utopia 2 came up in that selection and so that's when I started
And it was like one of those streams where like we were just gonna sample uh, a few random games, and then I just I like this, so kept going with it. This is a cool song. This one's stuck. Yeah, this one's stuck. You know, and it's like... Some of the other games would be cool, too. Some, like, Ogre Battle would be great. That would, uh, you know... And that, like, that game... Requires you to put some real time into it to really... Get... Get the most out of it, but... Alright, let's check this volcano out. Okay. Whoa! Check these dudes. Oh, and they shoot them, too, if they're above you. Yeah, I got... Ooh, and that's a lot of damage. Okay. Keep it distance. Pretty much want to thank you for giving Glade Lancer some attention. Yeah, that was a cool game. Um, as I mentioned, pretty tough to get into... Uh, Schmups without a lot of practice, but it was definitely one of the more interesting ones. Whoa! Rao, Princess Kea is ours, and I am not letting you have her. Oh. I'm gonna be using that real soon. Oh, yeah, medicine. to flail out. Okay, so he's invulnerable when he's curled up. Oof. This might be a death. We'll find out. find a reset. We didn't do anything significant. I think we were in two. Yeah. Cool. So let's go back and get more medicine. Because we definitely need it. Oh, interesting. The ice did not affect the uh, little lava bubble guys. I'm guessing because they're not on screen at the, that moment. This might be a little bit far to walk back for just one medicine. Let's, let's, uh, I've got enough cash. Let's see what we can get here. Which one of you guys sells medicine? 
There we go. How much you want? 400. All right, we'll we'll do this once. If I had to buy two, I'm gonna be no, but we'll do it. these guys. Since this is not a normal dungeon, this is like straight into a boss fight. Nice. Yeah, we should be we should be even better shape. Kinda of burned one, but dang, I was doing so good at dodging last time. This time I basically just got myself right back in the same situation. There we go. Even if you defeat me, Durst power will remain. Princess Kea is doomed. Defeated the Salamander, gained life force. Sweet! Oh, come on. The Red Medallion. Oh yeah, so weird. That's it! That's the dungeon. And now we've stuffed a volcano. Well, no, not exactly. Oh, there we go. He's auto walking right now. What? This is craziness. And now there's a bridge. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, we should go get those cheap medicines though.
Oh yeah, this is the house. Uh, this way, this way. Oh, come on. It's weird that there's like these half blocks that you can put the ladder on, but you can't really do anything with. Highly anticipated. Hello. Again, the the auto talking. Why? Why'd you do it? Is it really too hard to, you know, have it so gamers would have to just walk up and push the talk button? Alright, 200 goldies. Okay, so we'll get one. Go grind a little bit, get the other one. I don't remember where that little money loop was. I think it's right around here. Yeah, those rocks. That's the money loop. Give me the money. Rockstar, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, we're, we're getting much better results on the money loop this time than last time. starting to dry up. Nope. Still getting some. Okay. One last loop. I'm gonna go buy stuff. If I'm wrong, Yin will come and yell at me, so that's fine.
Oh, I don't need to talk to him right now. Um, let's buy a boomerang. I know I just throw him away, but let's, let's just get it. subscribing. Anyone throw a coat hanger? Pretending there's a boomerang or just me. Um, I mostly had wire coat hangers growing up, so I don't think I made that connection now. Guys in the new areas, they just don't drop as much stuff. I like our trusty old rocks. Alright, desert time. Just hands reaching out. Oh, look at this tense. Weeds around the lake are so thick that I can't cross to visit Mr. Kolsky. Stream buffer. Oh, sorry guys. When did that? When did that stream buffer happen? Yeah, we'll receive the password again. Look, this guy's got like a giant cauldron in his tent. I guess it's just like a jar of water, but it's craziness. This town is finished. Evil Dearth is back, and he will destroy us all. Did you see the color of the lake? There's probably a monster living there. Okay, going to a lake next. Did we have a presence at Pax East? Um, a presence would be a pretty tall order. Um, uh, no, we did not have a presence at Pax, Pax East. We also were not at Pax East. When you say a presence, I feel like that would mean that we ourselves had a booth or a panel or something. Yes. Frames still look good. Oasis was built around this lake, but lately the waters are receding. Oh wow. Yeah, look at that. Purple lake. Oasis is east and south of here. I heard a fairy is living there. A fairy? 
I mean, we went to Oasis. I didn't see a fairy. What'd I miss? These are just normal houses. Of normal people. Maybe the, maybe the cauldron. Maybe I need to walk up to the cauldron. Yeah, nothing about a fairy. Weird. Oh, this is the dungeon. Okay. Look at these guys. I think it stops me in my place if I get hit by it. Well, I guess it depends on where I get hit by it, huh? Huh. Wait, this is the same kind of thing. I need a... Is this just another boss? Who trespasses here? Well, it matters not. You won't leave alive. It is a giant blob. Oh, I cannot. I'm not hurting it. Uh oh. I might just let myself die on this one. So weird. Pax East, I ran into a girl wearing a box peak shirt. She was super cool. She said being a fan of BZA since the beginning. Nice. Alright, so we gotta find the trick to this guy. Spiders. Nice. Saw a stranger running south with a girl. More drop frames so far. Oh, look at these guys. There's no labyrinth here, but to the south there are four strange statues. Okay. This 
this is strange. Oh! Antlions. Take a lot of hits. Oh, nice. Monsters came as soon as those strange statues appeared in the south. Okay, so those are spiders. Wait. Oh, that's the other half of the town. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have to keep a kill that sound, but it sounds like you guys didn't see the other side of the town, so we'll go back to the other side of the town. Alright, I'm gonna go across the top. Mostly shops, but there's a couple of people here. Long ago, a fairy was said to live near the lake, but now it's fil too filthy, so... So we gotta clean up the lake to get the fairy back. Bomb guy. Medicine guy. Why isn't that cute lady from the other side of the lake visiting anymore? So yeah, so... No progress for finding the other side of the lake. Nothing to tell us how to kill that blob. But... We'll figure it out. Let's move on. Bitrate is back in the normal zone. Hopefully it stays there. Um, alright, well. We'll see. If it happens like two more times, then I might just do like a reset. Inchworms. They jump too? Jumping inchworms? That ain't right. Whoa! Okay. From before, I thought these guys just walked around, but they actually breathe huge lines of fire. Reset everything. It took a while to reconnect. Um, but, uh... And... Bitrate isn't 100%, but I did the speed test and everything, and that should be good, so... Hey, we'll give it a shot. And if I keep having trouble, then I'm obviously I'll have to do some of those tests and stuff that Kirsten passed on to me, and then get the ISP out here and see what's going on with the lines and all that fun stuff. But okay, if you go west from here, you may find a funny monk. He lives under a tree and studies the meaning of life. West of here. Okay, so we were up here, right? We came down. And then this is west. More of these guys.
Good grief. Nice. A journey to the west. Is this what you consider a tree? Oh, I got stuck. Get stuck in those spider webs. There he is, funny monk. Wah wah wah! I am the famous expert on life. For your final showdown with Darth, take an extra heart. Nice. There's like space for maybe one more heart in there. No drop frames yet. Worms. Nice. I like these caves. You need the Sun Sword, Gold Armor, and Gold Shield to defeat Evil Dearth. Oh, we just need that. We need that armor. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is actually the most hidden any of these has looked. Dearth's Labyrinth is a four-level pyramid. The Crystal Ball shows only one level at a time. Yeah, we are, we're familiar with how that goes. The skull mark to the east marks Durst's actual labyrinth. Around the skull, there are grooves where the four medallions fit. So get the yellow, red, blue, and green medallions and break the barrier. Yeah, but how do I fight the blob? I might have to go back and just like try every weapon I have. Worms. Ah, it jumps. Oh, there it. Yeah, look at this. So we've got to get all the medallions. Missing the green medallion. Missing the blue medallion. Mounts the yellow med- oh, okay, cool. Mounts the red medallion. Cool. I like that you can just do that. Did anyone else buckle? I did not appear to buckle on my end. Chat, thank you, chat. Alright. So we're gonna have to figure this blob out on our own. Also, I got no ideas on where the fourth medallion will be. I'm guessing once we get the fairy, it's gonna tell us. through here? Maybe that's it. Make sure. Oh, there's a bomb wall.
How have you been? Please come and rest. Thank you. Need that. Aha. Uh -huh. So I gotta make sure I kill things on every screen. Save, dude. Oh, okay. This is the four statues. Four statues begin to rumble. Whoa. Cool. Alright. These jerks. Wide blob, yeah. This is this is an interesting setup. Alright, alright, alright. Uh NPCs do not it's do not retaliate if you attack them. Oh, these, uh... Cyclops. Oop! These drop bombs, though. I like me a good bomb dropper. It's already open, so nothing to, there's nothing to do. Okay. Um, da -da -da. Okay. Oh, the clouds! It's the power of the clouds! Nice. Oh, I hit the medicine. Dang it. I gotta look at what I'm doing. Twice this stream that I've hit the wrong thing. Ooh, hidden blocks now. First of all, you know what though? This, this, uh, this dungeon will inevitably have a medicine anyway, so judging by the past. Okay. That's a very interesting map. I think I'm gonna kind of work my way left or right, if I can.
And this should not bomb, but we'll see. Yeah. These dudes are why you need that armor. Hurts so much when they attack. Bye, boys. Nice. Good tricks. Medicine! There it is. I don't expect these to open, but gotta try. This one, though. This seems very likely. Yeah. the traps. Wait, this didn't open? Yes? Hidden in this labyrinth is the golden armor. You will need it to defeat Dirth. The crystal ball will not aid you in your search. You must find the room by blowing up in a secret wall with your bombs. Well, it's not e either one of those. Alright, I'm low on bombs now, so... Might try to explore a bit without them first. These guys drop bombs. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Alright, and I have to use the medicine. Okay, I don't need to go left. You don't really need to go down. Let's go right. Ah, it's a stupid fountain. Alright.
Uh, looks like someone's in the studio. Okay, so I can't go up from here. Yeah, this layout's getting really interesting. There's a whole corner on the right, I bet, that we can go to. I'm gonna have to kill him. Okay. Probably gonna be one of these. There it is. It's interesting the way that this path is winding around here. Let's okay. So let's see what's to the right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alignment 3, thank you for subscribing. That's it. That's either gold armor or a troll. Let's find out which. Gold armor! Very, very nice. Okay, so there's got to be a room to the left, right? Yep, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, what, what is up with these other, all right, I got, I got to push on these blocks, see what the deal is. Oh, traps. Can't go that way. So we got three rooms up top. They're kind of blocked off so far. Jerks. Cool. 
Cool. This is odd because I can't push those blocks, right? Ah, ha, ha, ha. And there's our trick. Boom bombs. Okay. Not particularly needed right now, but thank you. Okay, so now we got two rooms. Oh, alright. I tried this one already. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm gonna go to the lower right first. in time. I think I'm going to have to use boomerangs or flails or something. Thank you. Speed room runner cherish their boomerang. Oh, look at these guys! I haven't seen them before. It's cool to be like almost done with the game and still coming across new enemy types. Oh, this goes upstairs. Alright. Well, I don't think I want to go upstairs yet. Interesting. How do I get to these rooms? Alright, we'll have to figure this out. Okay, so I get to both of them from here. These guys drop health, that's good. But what? Let me out, dudes. 
So I've got to use a flail or something. I mean, is it actually possible to like get in this room and run out of money and not be able to leave? It's so weird. Okay, and then that's the end of this. Oh, okay, we can go back up from here. Alright, so try to get that little Z space. Ah, uh, good grief. Okay. I love their animation for some reason. It's so simple that it just makes it funny. Open them all! Okay, this way I did not go yet, right? Wrong, I have been here. Oh, let's use that. Oh, it doesn't work on him. Okay. And I can be almost certain that I already bombed these. So I'd have to come from the right or from below. Okay. All right, because yeah, we, we can't do that. Okay. Tricky one. So yeah, I need to circle around. So I can't do that. I gotta go from one more down and this way. Oh, but then I gotta kill these guys. Okay.
Yeah, I'm running out of health here. Through walls. It does go through walls. Obviously, then it, that's what happens. I, I cannot keep a boomer, boomerang on me. We're gonna have to evacuate. We're gonna have to evacuate. I can't go up from here. Keep it going. As long as we can. done this. Nice. Oh, alright, that's a botch. Alright, we've survived. There we go. That's the one I was missing. I have to kill these things first. gotta be a, a wall to bomb through. What's in here? Got the key. Thank goodness. Alright, so we can f find the boss. Whenever we find the boss, we can actually fight it. But we probably shouldn't try to do that this run. Oh, that's it. That's the boss door. So then what's up the stairs? Alright, so we gotta go back to the stairs now. Eh. 
Okay. Oh, now I get that. I gotta push the block. Eh, okay. Six twenty-six. Final boss fight of the game in there? No, we've got to still figure out how to fight the blob, and then we gotta put our two medallions into the pyramid, and then we'll be at the last boss. I think I gotta go around still. Oh, these guys drop health though. That's good. Pyramid Triforce. <laughs> yeah, I think didn't Ganon have a pyramid too at some point? But that was, that was in Link of the Past. So that probably doesn't count. Alright. Mushrooms. There's such funny little squished sprites. Alright, now we're gonna go upstairs. And lose our map in the process. Well, not exactly. The crystal balls still work. So yeah, let's give it a shot. Wait, what? It's just an exit? Alright, alright. Well. That is funny. Alright, I have no medicine. I think that's what we gotta prioritize. save just in case <laughs> All right, I don't think it'll take me too long to get back. Just not worry about fighting these hard guys that don't drop anything on the way. Okay. 
Cash run. Medicine run. It does make me it does make me wish I had a uh, proper warp spell. But it's still it's, it's not that big as to be a problem. This though. Let me talk. Or let me walk without talking. Probably got 10 to 15 minutes before Ian's gonna kick things off, so. Let's do this. That's Bomb Guy. Quick cash run because we're actually in positions where we have to use that flail quite a bit in that dungeon. Getting kicked off? I'm getting I'm getting kicked off. <laughs> Once they get going with deadly premonition. Oh. All right, cash loop. Here we go. had a cash loop run completely dry like that. Just give me bombs that I don't need. There we are. Well, I'll do one more. One more loop. There we go. That one was worthwhile. Oh! Alright. Wides money under rock? Those aren't rocks. Those are rock... Rock mimics.
Nice. Well, at least that's while we're grinding, at least, huh? Hey. We're doing so good, too. What's funny is it like buckled for a sec and now it's basically back to normal. I don't know. I think it's safe to rule it out. Rule out it being on Twitch's end at this point. Um, sure. Why it's so inconsistent though, I don't quite get. I mean, something to do with my ISP. Still doing all right. Probably gonna have to still figure out what the deal is with the uh, the blob on our own. I have a feeling they're not gonna give us any more hints. Suspect ISP throttling? I wouldn't necessarily suspect that. But, who knows. Alright. 640. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We'll see how close we can get, but I think 645 I'm going to have to call it. Oh, yeah, so I didn't even recognize that that... That's hilarious. That that was the entrance. I was like, oh, hey, look, there's a staircase. It was the entrance the whole time. Okay. So it's up, up, so left, up, and then right, basically. Yeah, I mean, 
yeah, I think the suspicions about just issues with the line in general are more likely than anything because when we're having bad issues at the studio, yeah, that's basically what it ended up being. Like, Tech came out and looked at it and was like, yeah, the physical lines are just not in good shape, so. And then we got an entirely new <laughs> ISP after that. Alright, so here, and then up, we gotta kill these guys, they go through the door, okay. Okay, yeah, so I think we can give this boss one shot. Oh, these tricks. Oh, okay. Ho ho, so you've come. I won't give up, Dirt's dear Princess Kea. tricky, but the fire seems effective, at least while I can still do the big fire. Oh, he's going the wrong way. the health. Alright, medicine. There we go. Even with your power, you will never defeat Dirth. Give it up! Woo! 6.45, everybody. Blood is defeated. The Surf... Surfloid. Blood gains life force. All them hearts. Look at all them hearts. <gasps> there she is. I hoped you would save me. Dirth wanted the green medallion, which I had. The Green Medallion is one of four needed to break the barrier protecting Dirth. Go east from here and you will find a skull marking. Dirth's Atra Labyrinth. The skull mark has four grooves into which the four medallions fit. Without the yellow, red, blue, and green medallions, the barrier will stand. Find all four medallions and dispatch the evil Dirth. I'll return to the shrine. Blood gets the Green Medallion. Nice. Alright chat, we're just gonna kill these dudes and save and we're done. Cause it's Ian and Dawn time.
Cool. There we are. You should call the ISP just like Bossman did. They would probably give you a free modem along the way. Um, yeah. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll try to run some tests sometime. Um, but uh, we'll finish this game up soon. I don't know exactly when, but keep an eye out for tweets. And in the meantime, I'll have to stitch this thing together. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.